Okay, so we're going to use a fantastic program called Vittle Pro here. Now, Vittle Pro I use to record me doing worked answers to um, mathematical problems or, or physics problems or uh, complicated problems. And I, it creates simple videos which I can then upload to YouTube or anywhere that I like. And students are then able to access that from home. So they could just follow me doing it or hopefully they're trying to answer the questions themselves and then if and only if they have a struggle they can look up my answer. So what we'll do is we'll import a PDF to begin with. Um, so I'm going to pick this one. Uh, so you can, so at the moment I'm uploading the whole document. You, it might actually make more sense to have it as kind of some individual questions or break it down a little bit further but uh, for today that's fine. Now you'll notice first of all we've got this slightly grey in the background and we've got this odd white thing and that's because um, Vittle Pro has decided to use a slightly different page background colour but I can change that really easily so if I change it to white um, then that'll work. Oh I accidentally made a couple of marks there look you can undo. So this is the um, this is uh, kind of then got all of the pages in and you can sort of pinch and squeeze, move them around, zoom in and all of that sort of stuff. But um, the tools at the top, we've got draw, so we can change the thickness of the pen if we need to. And I'll go back to a normal pen. Oops. Oh. There we go. Um, you can erase bits if you want to. This is quite handy. You can use a pointer to draw attention to things that you're talking about. Um, you can easily change the colour fairly trivially. Um, and that's kind of it. But what it's going to do is it's going to record you as you talk. So you're going to explain what your thinking is but it will also kind of record what you're writing on there. So I'm doing it on an iPad. I've got an, um, an Apple Pencil, which makes it uh, really handy and, and kind of all works together. But let's press record and see what happens. So not much has changed. Um, I would now do the intro to my video and I would go quickly in and I would have a look at the, the questions. So let's have a look. So I'm reading through um, blah, 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 blah. This is what we're going to do. We're going to try measure G. That's the kind of the final thing. The it's just a fairly traditional um, trolley. Well, and it's not it's not a trolley, but it's a, it's a glider on an air track that's going down. It meets one light gate. It meets a second light gate. Let's have a look. Block is used to raise one end. It's released from rest at that point. It's got length d. Data loggers are used, so it's a very, very in, ter in terms of my understanding, it's a very classic question. So I would explain that to my students. I would highlight that this is relevant here. So the size d is there at the start. The velocity is zero, so it's going to have. A velocity when it gets to the first light gate and a faster velocity when it gets to the second light gate. Let's have a look at the second question. So table one gives measurements made with the light gates as shown. Time to pass through the first light gate, time to pass through the second light gate, time to travel from the first to the second. Okay, We're, we've been asked to calculate the acceleration. Now the acceleration is Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken. What is the initial velocity? Well, I don't know that instantly, but I've got the time taken to pass through the first light gate, and I've got the length of the interrupt card. So I can work it out. Velocity is, and I'm converting the units to metres, Point two meters per second, and then so I might change color to highlight it actually. So that's the the initial velocity. The final velocity is 
0.1 meters divided by 0.4 seconds, which is 0.25 meters per second. I've now got that's going to be our value that goes in there. So I can do my final calculation is acceleration is 0.25 minus 0.2 divided by 1.19. Oh, and I suddenly realised you will still be able to hear me while I'm actually calculating this. <laughs> so, um, the acceleration is 0 0.0... Oops. And then I'll resume the recording. So I've just typed that calculation in, and the answer I get is 0 0.042 metres per second squared. We go on to the second question again we could use our laser pointer and point out um, different bits and pieces so this one says how do we know that the distance between the light gates is greater now or greater in B than it is in set A um, and look it's going faster because it takes less time when it's passing through the individual light gates so it's going faster here faster here than it is in either of those in A, but it takes longer overall. So the light gate difference must be um, different. And then we've got a final one, which is uh, a graph that I'm going to show you. So I'm kind of pinch zooming in now, and I can, I've got a piece of card that I'm using as a ruler. And so I can kind of measure that there. If I wanted to, I could even go further. And I could calculate the gradient. I could actually draw on the screen using my card. I could calculate some gradients. Um, but I'm not going to do that for today. So let's stop this recording. And let's see what you, the students would then be able to see. So, so not, not much has changed. changed. Um, I would now do the intro to my video and I would go quickly in and I would have a look at the, the questions. So let's have a look. So I'm reading through. Uh, so you can zoom through and see they're getting basically just a recording I now might of whatever I'm writing, uh, whatever I'm talking about. Um, you can save it to your camera or you can share it in different ways so I you know sometimes I think you can upload it directly to um, bits and pieces if you've got those set up um, you know onto a Dropbox there is also a kind of scene management thing so, so not, not much, much has changed, changed. Um, I would now do the intro to my video um, so you can kind of manage scenes and move around and things like that I, overall I would suggest it's probably not worth having ones that are too long because otherwise the kids have got to kind of um, you know navigate their way around so you might want to break a big paper like this up into um, various different sections and that's it um, but yeah it's a really really simple way of recording you solving problems um, and it's called Vittle Pro